You have to believe in yourself. I know a lot of people who watch my content, a lot of people who follow me, you're either trying to break into cybersecurity or you're trying to level up. And a lot of you are finding out that it's really hard. It's not all rainbows and sunshine and butterflies like those influencers and the boot camps and certification companies and the universities told you it would be. You know, millions and millions of unfilled jobs. And it's hard to either A, get a job or B, get a promotion in your current role or even switch roles. And it's hard. And it's never going to happen for you if you don't believe in yourself. And you have to truly believe in yourself. But what does that mean, believe in yourself? So this journey that you're on, that I'm on, keep in mind that I make these videos for myself as well. Like I got to hear this message myself and putting it out in the world is going to help you as well. So keep in mind that like I'm not at the top of the mountain. I'm building a career just like you. And I had to tell myself the same stuff because I fall in the same traps as a lot of other people. But this journey that you're on, the journey that I'm on, it's a very lonely journey because cybersecurity is like a new profession, right? It's not, it hasn't been around for very long. So very few of us, definitely not me, have family members in this career field or friends in this career field. And then when you tell them that you're trying to be in cybersecurity or you're already in cybersecurity, they have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but nine times out of 10, when I say I'm in cybersecurity, a lot of people will be like, oh, you must be really smart. Or, oh, I don't pay attention to that hacker stuff because they have all my information anyways. And people just, a lot of times they don't care about cybersecurity. And not many people even understand like the basics of cybersecurity. This is why fraud and scams and cyber crime is so rampant. It's one of the biggest crimes that's perpetuated in the world, is cyber crime. And what you do matters in cybersecurity. This is why we need more cybersecurity professionals. And this is why organizations and people need to take their corporate data and their personal data very seriously because the crime is rampant. And it is a legitimate problem. But uh, the reason why it's a lot of problems is because the average person, the non-cybersecurity professional, the non-techie, they just don't even think about this stuff. And because of that, when you say you're going, to, going into cybersecurity or you are already in cybersecurity, you know, they're like, oh, I'm not good with that tech stuff. And there's really no support system around you more times than not. I know I didn't have them. I come from a family of blue collar workers. There's not a single person in my family who works in tech. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. And I had to figure this stuff out myself. This is why I make the content that I do because after I figured it out, and I'm still figuring it out, by the way, I can't stress that enough. And this is why I make the content I do is to help as many people as I possibly can and to share, you know, my ups and downs and what's worked, what hasn't worked and the growing reality of it because it is a lot of work, right? The job market's not good right now for cybersecurity or any profession right now. Uh, and AI is a huge cause of that. And I've been talking about AI a lot and I'll probably keep talking about it in the future because I, I think a lot of people are sleeping on AI and I think it's part of the problem of why there's no entry level or internship roles nowadays. But not only is it just hard to find an open position, it's hard to get the skills needed for that position. Why is it hard to get the skills? People are like, oh, there's 400 certifications. There's the, the companies, the employers, the requirements are too high. And it's not that the requirements are too high. It's that you just need a lot of information, you need a lot of knowledge, and a lot of skills to be basic, to be at the basic level in this field because you have to know a lot. And it requires not hundreds, but thousands of hours of active studying, not passive studying, active studying in the labs, doing the hands on keyboard stuff over and over and over and over again. And you can spend thousands of hours 
practicing your craft and still not be an expert and still not even know half the stuff that there is in this field. It is very daunting and it's exhausting. And that's why I say you have to believe in yourself because you have to tell yourself that you can do it because no one else is. No one's going to pat you on the back when you succeed. No one's going to wake you up, and pull you out of bed, and tell you to sit on a computer and study. No one's going to, very rarely are they really going to root for you day in, day out. And if you have that support system, kudos to you, but I've never had it, right? I get a certification. I get random people on LinkedIn saying congratulations, and maybe my family might say congratulations, but they don't understand, like, it took me. 400 hours to get that certification you know it took a lot of time effort and sacrifice and discipline and there's days where you just don't feel like doing it you're not going to be motivated to do it every day and you have to believe you can do it for example i told myself i was going to be a pen tester five years before i was a pen tester i told myself this basically every day i mean there was probably some days where i didn't it didn't cross my mind but very rarely did it not cross my mind. It was on the forefront of my mind every single day, day in, day out, hitting the labs. And that's what I had to do to become a full-time pen tester. If I didn't hit the labs every day for five straight years, then I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in today. And I still hit the labs as much as I can. Heck, I just, you know, I've been releasing my Hack the Box videos every week. I still do Hack the Box Academy. And there's a lot more work for me to do. A lot of people like look at me as an expert and I, by some definitions, I am an expert, but there's a lot more that I don't understand. And it's impossible to understand it all, by the way. And that's one of the things that really frustrates me as someone who wants to know everything. It's physically it's just impossible to put that much knowledge in your brain. Like, it's just not possible. But I'm going to try, and I don't think there's anything I want to try. But like I said, you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that you can do it. Whatever you're pursuing, it whether it's a certification, a job, a promotion, a switch a role, whatever it is, it's going to be hard because you're going to fail certifications. You're going to get rejected. No one's going to push you. No one's going to motivate you every day to get out of bed and hit the labs and stay up all night and practice try hacking and hack the box and your certification studies. They're going to actually do the opposite. They're going to be like, come on, take it easy. You're too hard on yourself. Come hang out with us. Come drink with the boys. Girls night out. Bro, we used to play video games all the time. Let's play it. Come on, man. Let's play a video game. And it's like, you got to reject all of that. And there's a lot of people that are actively, and they're not actively trying to sabotage you, sabotage you because they are your friends and your family. But... You do have to reject a lot of that to, to succeed. And uh, lately I've been seeing a lot of people, man, I might as well not even try. It's hard to break in. People are starting to realize and frustrated and get frustrated about it. And I always say it's hard to break in. And I don't say that to be a gatekeeper. I make the content that I do to help you break into cybersecurity or level up in your career. Because that's what I do every day. Like I'm already in the field, but I'm trying to level up every day. I'm trying to be the best penetration tester that I can be and it's on the forefront of my mind every single day and I'm documenting the journey and I'm sharing everything I possibly know with you guys and it's hard work and a lot of people like I said some people I've said oh might as well I'm try just throw up their hands in here and that's not the right mentality to take I say that it's hard because I'm not going to bullshit you I'm telling you straight straight edge here. It's hard. It's a lot of work. And the reason why I have to say it is because a lot of people are telling you it's easy. There's millions and millions of unfilled jobs. You don't need to be technical. You don't need to search. You don't need a degree. You don't need to know how to code. And newsflash, you need all of that. And it is daunting. It's so much work. There's so much knowledge you have to do. It's, it's, it's crazy to be in this field. It's, it's, it's very hard. And that's why you got to believe in yourself because you got to tell yourself every single day, every single day that you can do it. Because if you don't, you're not going to make it. And if you do, then it's a miracle because it really takes a lot of discipline, work ethic, grit, 
and consistency. And that's the big thing, consistency. You got to show up every single day. You got to live every day. You got to study every day. And yeah, there's times of day, days off, guys. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I played some Battlefield for the first. It was out for like a few weeks, and I finally played it a little bit on some PTO. I've traveled and enjoyed enjoyed life a little bit. But keep in mind, when I traveled, like, I was actually studying for CISSP in Europe when I was traveling. I remember typing a school paper at 2 a.m. in Venice on vacation to get my degree. And, like, even though I was on vacation, I was still actively putting effort into my studies, whether that was certifications or my degree for cyber security. But it is hard, and you can do it. You just got to put in the work. And that's, in my opinion... Almost a good thing because so many people are looking for the shortcuts of success. They're looking for the easy way out. And I know this because if you look at some of the videos out there, like you don't need a code, you don't need a degree, you don't need a certification. And these videos like always get stupid amounts of views. You're like, it's a lie. It's a lie. Because, and, and people eat it up too because everyone's looking for the shortcut. They're looking for the easy path. And here's a secret to success in cybersecurity. You want to do the hardest possible thing every single time because that is the quickest way you're going to get to where you want to go by taking the path less traveled. Because if you take the path everyone else is going to take, guess what? You're going to end up like everyone else. And I always say, and I'll say it again, you are in a competition with everybody else. There are elements lost in cybersecurity and you need to beat out the people who are applying for the same job. There's a thousand people applying for the same job. Only one person is getting that job. You can't be number two. And you got to believe in yourself, and it's going to be hard. And you can't let the fire die out. You got to have that fire all the time. And the fire will, it goes up and down, man. It, there will be times where it's just a spark. But do not let that spark ever, ever, ever go out. And the journey can and will be lonely. There's not going to be many people that are pushing you to whatever goal you're trying to achieve in this field. I didn't really have a support system. I never really had people cheering me on. I never had cheerleaders, man. And I just did the work anyways. I did it for myself. I did it for myself because it was what I wanted to do. And it was a challenge. And I find challenges very rewarding after I complete them. And I want to leave you off with a book suggestion. So this book right here is one of the first books I read when I got back into reading. I didn't read in high school. I actually hated it. They force you to read and like I I never really understood like why reading was so important until I got I think I was like 23 or 24 before I started even reading books. But this book right here, one of the first books I read when I got into reading in my adult life, changed my life and I highly recommend it. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And the big thing here is auto suggestion in the subconscious mind. Basically, if you think about it every single day, it will become reality. This, also, people call it manifestation, whatever you want to call it. Just If you think about what you want, whether that's you're going to break into cybersecurity or you're going to get a promotion. For me, it was be a pen tester. I want to be an ethical hacker and nothing is going to stop me. And I thought about that literally every single day or nearly every single day. And it became a reality, but it had to be on the forefront of my mind. I don't think I would have made it if it wasn't on the forefront of my mind. And some of you are probably excited, man. I can't wait to get in this field. It's exciting. It's always changing. And you're going to get anxiety a little bit because there's a lot of information, man. I get anxiety because, man, I wish I knew this. I wish I knew that. I wish I was better in the cloud. I wish I was a mobile pen tester. I don't do mobile pen tests, but I wish I knew how to do it. You know, I just do web apps and networks and, you know, I wish I could do some hardware hacking. I don't, I don't really do hardware hacking and AI hacking. I just started getting into that. I was like, man, I want to get into AI hacking. And there's just so much things to know. And I get anxiety about it because there's so many things I want to know. And I just, I can't cram the information. The information comes out faster than you can consume it. And that's the problem. And it gives you, it gives me a little bit of anxiety. And if it gives you anxiety as well, and I don't have an anxiety issue either, but it, it is problematic for me. So if you do have an anxiety issue, then I can see where that's a problem. So I would say that's pretty normal. And this whole AI thing, man, stresses me out because I'm like, dude, there's AI tools coming out left and right, left and right. The news, 
Like I started listening to some AI podcasts and like, it's just hard to keep up with it all. It's, it's a full-time job just keeping up with the news and it can, and it will burn you out. And I always, I said this before, I'll say it again. Like you can't really avoid a burnout. Anyways, that's enough rambling. If you got some value out of this video, consider subscribing to my newsletter, kaiserclark.com slash newsletter. I talked about this actually a year ago in my newsletter and you could have got the information then. And if you want to stay on the bleeding edge of my mind, subscribe to my newsletter, kaiserclark.com slash newsletter. Hopefully you got some value. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Take care. Have a good one. Kaiser.